Here's my picks for the five worst Colombo made guys who would be on my wall of shame. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my choices. Greg Scarpa Sr. The former capital is among the worst of the worst. He worked more than 20 years as a top echelon informant for the feds and also got information for the feds resulting in dozens of deaths. Greg Scarpa Jr. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. He is involved in a shooting of an innocent woman and many other brutal murders. He ends up becoming an informant while in prison and gets a compassionate release in 2020. Carmine Sessa. The former consigliere was involved in four murders including an innocent woman. He becomes an informant and when on bail continues to commit crimes. He testifies in eight trials and gets out of prison on time served. Big Sal Misiata. The former Colombo hitman becomes a government informant due to being uncomfortable locked up because of his weight of 350 pounds. He committed numerous hits and ends up getting out of prison. And then finally, Joseph Magliacco. The former Colombo boss aligned with Joe Bonanno with a plot to kill the other bosses and take over the commission. His life was spared was forced to resign.